In terms of the ET and the EH setup, so I'll take you through how to set up a high voltage battery from BYD. Um, so if you're already familiar with the BYD batteries, uh, I won't have to go through it all. Um, each battery bank has a BMU, which is the black module, which sits on top of each battery tower. Um, so when you're making the connections, make sure that you have the DC isolator off, which, um, which is you just lift up this hinged lid and turn it off and then take off the BMU cover plate to access the terminals behind the cover plate. And once you've removed the plate, then you can start making the connections into the BMU. So we've already gone through how to connect the SunClicks connectors onto the DC cables. I don't need to go through that again. However, once you've um, on the other side um, of that cable, you will need to strip them and then connect it into this terminal here. And then once it's once the cables are thread inside into this terminal, then you simply have to push down on this orange clamp, which then makes the secure connection into the battery bank. So now you've um, securely connected the, uh, the battery power cables into the BMU, which is then connected into the battery input of the inverter itself. So in terms of the BMS cable or the BMU cable, however you like to describe it, the BMU or the BMS cable is already pre-wired into the inverter, as you can see here. What you will need to do for the BYD batteries or for the high voltage batteries is to connect the other end or is to cut off the RJ45 um, connector off the end of the cable. And then what you will do after it's been cut off, then you have to find the blue and white cable of the, the blue and white cable inside the um, BMS cable and then connect basically the blue cable into terminal one of the communication cable, which uh, terminal, which you can see on the BMU plate, and then connect the blue and white cable into terminal two of that terminal plate. So once you've connected those cables, then the communication is then um, completed. So then now the inverter should be communicating to the battery bank. Um, in the manual, we do show you um, if you're unclear or if you, if you're curious, uh, we show you the positions of, of what each position of the cable means inside the BMS cable. So four and five is the connections to the BMU of the BYD battery. So when you're connecting one battery, um, the BMU does have a set of dip switches which need to be set in the correct um, position. So if you're connecting one battery to the inverter, then all the dip switches should be in the left hand side. So left, left, left. Um, you can connect up to three high voltage battery towers to one ET, uh, one EH and one, um, one BT inverter. So that lets you connect, yeah, uh, gives you more kilowatt hour capacity. So if you but if you're only connecting one battery, make sure that you have all the dip switches on the left hand side. If you're connecting two battery banks, then one of them will be called the master, and then the second one will be called the slave one, according to BYD. In this situation, all dip switches on both the master and slave should be all on the left. However, you will also need to install uh, the Ethernet cable that is supplied, or you can use a standard Ethernet cable. Um, and make sure that you connect the out, connect, um, the out terminal of the master into the in terminal of slave one. If you're connecting three towers, then you need to ensure that the dip switches in the middle of the, of the bus of the battery um, string is set up as so. So the top two dip switches on the left and the dip switch on the bottom is flicked over to the right hand side. However, the master is all on the left and the slave two, which is the last battery on the string, should also be on the left hand side. And then don't forget to connect the Ethernet cables across all three battery BMUs. 
So once you've connected the BMS um, cable and then also set up the dip switches and then connected the ethernet cables, if you're using one more batteries, then you can start commissioning the PV plant. So for commissioning, what you need is the PV master app. Um, but before that, you can turn on the battery DC isolator of the BMU or the BMS of the battery or the BYD. And then what you should be using for the commissioning of the battery is the BYD B Connect app, which you can download from the Android um, Play Store, I think, and, the, and also the Apple Store as well. So make sure that you've downloaded the BYD the B Connect app onto your device, because this will then download the latest firmware from the BYD servers onto the BMU. So once you've opened up the app, select Goodwe HV for high voltage battery, and then select the module. So if it's a HVM battery, then select HVM from the dropdown list. If it's a HVS battery, then select HVS and then also select the number of battery modules that you're using. So the number of, bat number of battery models does not include the BMU module. So if you have four battery modules plus the BMU, what you will enter is four. If you're using five battery modules plus and using the BMU, you will enter five battery modules. So if you, if you for example, if a customer installed two battery modules in the beginning, and then two years later, they add another two battery modules, then make sure you come back to the BYD B Connect app to change the number of modules that are is set up in the BMU because the BMU will not automatically detect that it has an extra two modules. So you will need to go through this step if you're upgrading or adding modules in the future. So if in doubt, refer to the BYD manual, um, EFT systems, is the official service after sales um, provider for BYD in Europe. So if you have any issues, um, you can go to their website. They have a lot of information there. They have some troubleshooting checklists to help you through the, the setup of the, of the battery. Um, but this is just giving you a, like a high level overview of how to set up the battery using their app. Um, after you've turned on the battery and after you set up the battery, then I would turn on the inverter and wait a couple of minutes until all the devices are on. 